peonies are blooming and I'm going to be collecting some jelly. All I'll be using is the bloom. It's a, not the green part. Okay, uh, this is spring with steps and suds and such, and I have got some peonies, the blooms. That's all I'll be using to this. And what I did is I plucked them off the petals, as you can see. Just pluck them off like that. And I'm also going to be using a few rosebuds. Well, I'm going to take the petals off of those also. And um, I have a couple different colors. This is an old timey rose here. And uh, this is what you're going to remove all your petals till it looks like this. And then I also found some nice big white clover that I just could not pass up on using. So I'll be using those. And you just um, take off all your buds like so, like this all the petals off the bud in other words sorry about that and then i'm going to wash them make sure they're all cleansed and uh, bug free let your bugs loose outside <laughs> and uh, when i make the jelly i'll bring you back i'm going to oh and i'll show you whenever i get ready to infuse it okay this is how i infuse them i put all my flower buds into my jar and I uh, pour hot boiling water over them. This is all that I had left after I picked all the flower petals off. But that's it. That's how I'll do it. And I'll leave it for probably two, maybe three hours. And then I will um, drain my uh, tea from my flower petals. And um, that's what I'll make jelly with. I will put that in the refrigerator until I get ready to make my jelly. When I make my jelly, I'll bring you back. Hi everybody, this is Spring with Soaps and Suds and Such, and I'm ready to make my peony, or peonies, whichever way you call it, jelly. And this is my infusion, and um, I have, um, first of all, I've got two and one-fourths cup of peony infusion, and I'm going to be pouring it in here, like so, into my saucepan. To that, I'm going to be adding one fourth cup of lemon juice. And I need to find my spoon. I seem to have misplaced. Wow. Okay. And then we'll stir this. Then I'm going to have to bring this to a boil. Once I bring it to a boil, I'll bring you back. Okay, we've got a boil, so I'm going to be adding four cups of sugar. And I'm going to mix that in real good. And I'm going to cook this until my sugar is dissolved. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got this cooking. I'm going to get it to dissolve my sugar. And I've been stumped for the past week. And I, I have not been able to find, I finally found it, my recipe. Um, having epilepsy, I forget a lot. So, I had to find my recipe. I was wondering why my, a lot of my jellies have not been getting to the consistency of gel that we like. And I have been using Sure Gel, which I use a lot an awful lot of this, the shore gel, this type, type. And 
it had been stumping me. I couldn't find my recipe, so I was kind of playing it by ear on a lot of these, and I finally came across what I had been using, which is this, is what I used the liquid in a lot of these jellies that I've been making. Now, some of them have turned out fine with no problem. You know, some of them I redone, added more shore jelly, done fine. But, you know, I'm glad that I finally found my recipe because where I have epilepsy, I forget, I can't remember a lot. Uh, sometimes I can't remember it when I need to remember it, so I have to keep everything wrote down and I had misplaced my recipe. But I have found it now, and that is the pectin that I use the liquid in a lot of these recipes. So if you see where I've talked about I had to redo one or I put it on my thing, um, you know, that this is what I had been using and had just couldn't remember it. So I wanted to just let you know about that, and I'll bring you back when this is completely dissolved. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've got it all dissolved now, all of our sugar. So uh, now I'm going to add my liquid pectin. You see, I'm going to be adding two, two of these to this. Two packets. And you want to get every drop out of here that you can get. You want to get it all out. And I'm going to be using two of them. So that's one, one of the big boxes you buy. And here in a little while, I'm going to be making my rose petal jelly. And I'll also be doing honeysuckle. And I had the kids out earlier. They helped me pick um, some more white clover and um, dandelion. So I'll be doing more of that. Okay, I've got that in there. And I'm going to bring this to a uh, rolling bowl, and I want to let that boil for, um, let's see, time to think, I think it's two minutes, let me recap on my recipe. Yeah, two minutes. I'm going to let this come to a boil and boil it, a rolling boil for two minutes. I meant to do this yesterday and I had a really bad day uh, with my epilepsy so I was unable to do so. It kind of took me uh, by surprise. But I'm going to let this uh, boil for two minutes and then I'll put it into my jars. So I'll get this to a rolling bowl. And uh, once I get it to a rolling bowl, I'll let it boil for two minutes, and I'll bring you back once I'm putting it in, getting ready to put it into the jars. Okay, I'm ready. I skimmed the top. Now I'm ready to ladle this into my jars. And I did not add any food coloring to this jelly. Okay, that's about as full as I want that one. Want these. That over there. I did boil my jars. I did boil my lids and my tips and my rims. Okay, I've got that ready. 
So I'm just going to refill all these jars. I'm going to fill them all up, the ones that I have boiled. And then I am going to do a hot water bath on this. After I have all my jars filled up, I will put the jars that are capped, as tight as my handle cap it, back into my pot and with um, my water at least one to two inches over top of my jar and I will be doing a hot water bath um, for it. You can do it from 10 to about 20 minutes but you know I'll at least do it for 15 and um, then I will show you the finished product after I'm done with it. Okay this is spring with substance suds and such and I thought I would show you my peony jelly has set up and set up beautifully. It is jelly. As you can see how it how it does. It's not runny. That is jelly and it tastes wonderful. So I thought I would show you that. Okay, I wanted to show you how I decorate my jars, my jelly jars. This is a jar of my uh, watermelon run. I put a watermelon on there, a nice pretty wrapper um, or label, should, I guess I should say, with the ingredients I have listed on the back. And then I also um, put some burlap on top with a nice bow, pretty little rose. Um, I have done two different kinds of jars of the watermelon rind. And then my red bud, pretty little label. And I happened to find a nice tree, the red bud tree to put on there. And um, do it the same with the burlap. My strawberry, put the strawberries on the front. A nice little uh, label on there with the ingredients on the back. And I just wanted to show you how I like to decorate my jars. Um, I have used cloth also, but I love burlap because that, I think that reflects the all natural and the countryness. Um, and I am country. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by the way I talk, but um, and it's all natural. So there you go. That's how I wrap my tops and uh, do my labels.